<laughs> hey, what day is it? February 1st. It's true. I thought I'd make a video today and submit it. It's 2020. I haven't posted a video in almost six or seven months. There's so much to catch up on today. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and make it funny because a lot's happened and I uh, just wanna get you up to speed. But this is the new studio. Today I'm painting this back wall. I just drywalled it. A lot of things are gonna happen in here. You can see things are a little bit messy. That's okay, because they're gonna get clean. Let's go. Shout out to Bountiful Bakery for the coffee and bagel. Always delicious. I did it. It's my studio. I'd say like 95% of the dust is out of this space. It's a little surreal. I mean, I've, I've wanted this for years. Built that wall, mounted the, painted all of this pegboard, all my tools, so much shelving space, and a desk on wheels. I'm just obsessed with this movie, Field of Dreams, but this morning, cut him out. The theory is everyone can and should be Field of Dreams, and um, it feels like a theme of the studio. You know, like I mentioned earlier, I haven't posted a YouTube video in a while, and in so many ways, that's just my creative outlet right now. It's like, uh, good things are gonna happen in this space, I can feel it. What? Still ironing out the kinks. Oh, you know what it is, is I, there needs to be like counterweights. Aloha. <laughs> First shoot of the studio. I'm just using a shotgun microphone, so I don't know if the audio is coming in. All right, you might hear traffic sounds and it's because I need to put like uh... Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to I wanted to get you up to speed. I started a YouTube channel in 2019, which was awesome. My first ever video vlog. Vlog, did I say that correctly? We hit it hard and I was pumping them out like at least once a week. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stang Show. I am Luke Stanger, creator of the YouTube channel, The Stang. And today's episode is brought to you by Washington State Bank and a generous home equity line of credit on my duplex so that I could basically just not work for a year and a half and uh, search the soul try and bring you this public service announcement. <laughs> I ended up moving to Vegas. Welcome to Luke's Poolside Revelations, volume one. All right, I studied for my real estate license. Where is lot seven, block E of the Far Hill Estates? Decided I didn't want to do that. Came back to Fairfield on a business trip, fell in love with my tenant. All right, so I moved back here from Vegas, right? And I got this house deal, and a lot of my friends like were like, oh, that's that's incredible, like a fixer-upper, right? Like foreclosure, blah, 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 blah. Show you what gold looks like. Yeah. Little staircase, little living room. This is the new house. Not totally mine yet, but it will be soon. So, spoiler alert, there was this lien on the house. It was an absolute cluster. Four or five months of like lawyers, sellers, realtors, back and forth, a lot of and then it completely fell through. Oh, while I'm editing this, I forgot to mention that I actually snuck into this house while all this crap was going on because I wanted to get a head start and usually, you know, the closing process just takes way too long. So the real tragedy was spending like weeks of my time and money gutting the place, okay? Just so you know. And then it, it collided with basically teetering on ineligibility for a loan with my bank because I haven't really been making, I can't really prove income right now. I was kind of freaking out. It was like right around the holidays and because uh, the deal fell through, 
and I just bought like all my credit cards. I missed like a mortgage payment and like within a matter of weeks, my credit score went from like a, oh, it's like a 750, dropped right down to a 651 and it was, the bank was like, if, and, and you know, you're not good. Anyway, I talked with the bankruptcy lawyer. I was freaking out. And then uh, I was just like, oh, wait a minute. This is America. I mean, I could just, it's not as bad as it can get. I can miss way more payments. I can, there's a little more credit limit on my, you know, it occurred to me, why not get a studio space, buy all the rest of the gear, and then file bankruptcy? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, times are tough right now. That's why we need to elect someone like Bernie Sanders. I'm gonna caucus for him on Monday. What else? I'm just rambling. But anyway, that, that's a snapshot of what my last six months have been like. And finally, finally get to start pumping out YouTube videos again. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna be doing it more frequently and I'm also gonna be advertising my business. So if you want headshots, if you want video, you want commercials or promotional material, I can't wait to bring that on a more professional scale. Thanks so much. Please like and subscribe if you would. That always makes my day. And uh, if not, that's cool too, but we'll talk again soon. something like this because you can only be wearing it if you're actually going to be in the position of doing the real hard. And it does require a I like these things. I don't know why I like them. But they just have a certain thing. Mm. You know? They're a uh, color on people's walls. on the table, <laughs> on the desk, he gets them, he said, like, do it right, do it right, puts the hat on, you know that? Classic scene. I have no expectation whatsoever what's coming. I don't think about it consciously. I don't form the word thought, the thought word in my head. In fact, I do everything I can to be thinking about something else. Maybe it's some scene in nature, or maybe it's some beauty in my life, or maybe it's something I feel, something that's not necessarily connected with anything associated with paint or art. I confront the thing that was left for me from last time, which was all done with no thought, just after, you know, after, after session. Just, I just come and do this. And what this tells me about my life right now is, oh, that's the stuff that's going on for me. Oh, no shit. Wow. Well, okay. Am I going to go with that? Am I going to go further? Maybe. It looks, it looks like it should be here because it was right there. So, let's see what happens with this. No, I think I want this. Oh, no kidding. I'm doing this. This is, I'm, I'm basically narrating what's going on in my heart, mind, soul right now. Uh, my breath, my thought, my sense of the moment, am I headed somewhere? What's going on right now? 
Is there something from the outside world that's troubling me? Maybe sometimes that happens, but in this case, 